This video will cover the topic, determining if graphs have symmetry with respect to the x-axis, y-axis, or origin. Let's break it down. Some graphs have symmetry with respect to an axis or the origin. If there's symmetry with respect to an axis, that means that, that particular axis acts like a mirror for the graph. And if there's symmetry with respect to the origin, it means that we can rotate the graph 180 degrees and it will be identical to its original form. Let's try some examples. Let's check to see if this graph has symmetry with respect to the x-axis, the y-axis, the origin, or none of those. First, let's try the x-axis. Imagine the x-axis is a mirror. Is the part above the x-axis a reflection of the part below the x-axis? No, there's nothing below the x-axis, so that's definitely not true. Right, so this means that there is no symmetry with respect to the x-axis. What if the y-axis were a mirror? Is the section to the left of the y-axis a reflection of the section to the right? Yes, it is reflected like a mirror. This means that there is symmetry with respect to the y-axis. Now let's check to see if there's symmetry with respect to the origin. What would happen if we spun our graph 180 degrees? Let's see what that would look like. When the graph is rotated 180 degrees, it doesn't look the same at all. Right, so there's no symmetry with respect to the origin. So now we know that this graph does not have symmetry with respect to the x-axis or the origin, but it does have symmetry with respect to the y-axis. Can I see a graph that does have symmetry with respect to the origin? Sure. Here's a graph that doesn't have symmetry with respect to the x-axis or y-axis, but if we rotate it 180 degrees, it looks the same. Exactly, we rotated it 180 degrees and it looks the same, meaning it does have symmetry with respect to the origin. Can a graph have symmetry with respect to both axes and the origin? Sure. Here's a graph that has symmetry with respect to the x-axis, and the y-axis, and if we rotate it 180 degrees, it looks the same. So it has symmetry with respect to the x-axis, the y-axis, and the origin. Cool. So if there is symmetry with respect to an axis, that means that the particular axis acts like a mirror for the graph. And if there is symmetry with respect to the origin, it means that we can rotate the graph 180 degrees and it will be identical to its original form. Excellent. 